Hi guys, prepare to try something different today. You might have guessed, this is our plan to make a microbike. Here's my trusty and useful lathe machine. Lathes perform a variety of machining purposes, including cutting, sanding, drilling, and turning. It's one of the most versatile machines used in industry. Perfect, just what I needed. So we've got our frame and wheels cut, now we can prepare them. I must say, watching the lathe do all the manual work is so therapeutic. Producing a flat surface is called the facing operation, and you use a normal turning tool for this. Cuts like a knife through butter, doesn't it? And now, we're ready to drill the holes. Bench vices are so handy, they're like spare hands, because they free up both your hands for you to work safely. After grinding away the valley, use a sturdy pipe to bend the metal upwards 90 degrees. Perfect for the wheels. Oops, talking about wheels, sorry buddy. I'm using stick welding to weld the main bike frame. Stick welding is a popular method for metal fabrication and is reliable and relatively inexpensive Our frame is starting to take shape now. Let's check the handlebars to make sure they're the right fit. Now we're on to the painting stage. I'm using a metal primer to help the top coat bond to the metal. Yep, as you can see, I'm going bright and painting the bike pink. Now, we'll grind along the marked area to make the crank arm for the pedal. After drilling a hole, screw to attach the pedal. Here's our final result. It's fitted with a chain ring, pedals, and steering assembly. Just like a full-sized bike, but in miniature. I thought it was only fair to give him his wheel back. There's a trick to riding this bike, which takes balance, time, and patience. Uh, 
<laughs> Looks like he's getting the hang of it. It's great fun to ride as long as you're a contortionist. Great control of the bike. Oops, spoke too soon. There is no comparison when having to carry the micro bike up a flight of stairs. It'll win every time. But riding it is a completely different experience unless you're dressed as a clown and in a circus. Now, for the grand finale. Looking good. Watch out for any stones or holes in the path though, it could overbalance. Here he comes after taking the turn. Shows that the steering works well. Or should we say, it did work well. Back to the drawing board. See you soon.